In this video, I want to share with you a new feature that we are working on for cart flows for our users to make your flows portable. That means you're going to be able to move a flow from one website to another website, maybe one client to another client. And it's also going to enable you to take your flows and redistribute them if you wanted to give them away on your website, or even if you wanted to create a beautiful flow and sell that flow. This is what we've been working on here at Cardflows. Now let me demonstrate this feature. It's actually very basic. Uh, so here, not basic, it's very complicated. It was easy to do is what I mean. So here's a flow right here and I'll click into it and you'll see I have my steps and I have in my steps my cart flows setting. So we've got it all structured out here. Uh, here's my checkout page. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the settings there. Now what's going to happen is this new import export feature is going to allow you to move around the flows themselves, the structure of the flow and the cart flows settings. And then you would use the page building tool that you use for the design. You would use that tools import export for the, the page templates for each of the steps. So you can see here, I have uh, an order bump with style two. So uh, you could just see a glance at the settings. So now what I'm gonna do is export this flow. So there's two ways we have these buttons here at the top, import and export. So if you wanted to actually import or, uh, or if you wanted to export multiple flows, we have a button here for that. But most likely you'll probably just export individual flows. And so we have an option when you hover over the flow name and here it is export. So I'll just go ahead and click on the export and it's going to download what's called a JSON file to your computer. Once it's downloaded, you could change the name to whatever you want uh, if you're redistributing it. So it just downloaded it for me. So what I'm going to do now is I'll just go ahead and import it. So I'll click on import and then I'm going to drag and drop that file right here from my local computer. Okay, there it is. Uh, I dragged and dropped the file. I'll click on import and now what it's going to do is it's going to import the flow with the step structure and all of the settings for the individual steps. And it says right here, successfully imported. I'll go back here and click on flows and you're gonna see here is what we exported and then here's what we imported. And it imports it in draft mode. So I'll go ahead and click on this flow and you could see right here if you wanted to publish it and take it out of draft mode, here's the options for that and you can see here is my entire structure for this flow. And when I click on the checkout page, you'll see the step settings are in there as well. So remember I showed you how it had a style to for the order bump. Now it does not import and export is the design for each of the individual steps. But the good thing is, is whatever page building tool that you are choosing to use to design each of these steps, they will already have an import export tool. So for example, Elementor, it's super easy. All I would do is click on edit with Elementor. And when it pull goes into Elementor, it's super easy to import the design. So here I would click on this folder icon where it says add template and then here's an icon with the arrow up and it says import template and when I click on that it goes here and all so you would have to do is drag and drop the individual page design template right there so and it, to save a design you would just go ahead and click on the save option right here and give it a name you can name it the checkout step however you wanted to name it so now with what we've built it's going to be so easy for you to move around or redistribute or who knows maybe you might even choose to sell the flows that you're creating the structure the design all of that and whoever is receiving that and restoring that can have it all ready to go within just a few mouse clicks just a few minutes of clicking around it is super easy now to have your flows become 
portable. Now, the reason why, if you are wondering, our import export doesn't as well move the design, the reason is each of these design tools store the data differently. So uh, it, it would be a quite the challenge in maintenance to make it so you can move around any page building tool with 20 or 30 different page building tools. So you can use the import exporter tool for your page building tool and you can use what we've just built to move around the structure of your sales flow and all of the settings as well. Now, when we release this new feature, we will have knowledge base articles on how to import and export for the major page builders. So you don't have to figure that out if you're not familiar with it already. We'll have information there for you, but it's pretty easy uh, in my experience with all of these various page building tools. So anyways, that is the new feature that we have been working on. It is working it's great I'm so excited to see how this opens up cart flows for more people to have this portability of sales flows that are working that are tested and working and I know for me with here on our YouTube channel I will be creating flows and providing those flows to people that are watching those videos it's going to be a great I guess lead magnet or way to redistribute designs and high converting sales flows hey that's all that I have for you in this video thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one